Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a story. I had a offer, a person emailed me, a subscriber emailed me to offer me a polluted Delta expedition. I don't know what condition it was in. I assume it was light play. Very few expeditions are actually near mint, just the way they come out. So assuming it was light play, I was like, wow, $155. That's pretty good. That is very good. Because I'm... I remember when these first came out, they were $372. $372 when they first came out. And it was like if you pulled one of these, you would have made back pretty close to your entire case from just this card and maybe the other expedition that you pull. Uh, two to three expeditions a case. So even if it's a crappy expedition, you probably get there from just those two cards. A lot of boxes were opened. And this card went straight down it went all the way down to 200 and then went back up again to around let's say 275 and now it's going straight down again but it's not the type of down that is optimistic so in some graphs when you see it go down you you'd be like okay cool maybe it'll go up again this is kind of the slow decline the slow death if you will so it's not like it goes down and up down and up and then it trends down that way this is more like, okay, demand is not really, there's too much supply. And this, I mean, it's still, it is still a $200 card, right? Still a $200 card. And on top of that, you have, I mean, if you can pull one from my booster pack, that's great EV anyway. And it will always be probably one of the premier uh, expedition slash masterpieces just because it's a fetch land. And it's also an interesting one since most players would want four. You're not going to really buy one unless it's for ED8s. But if you want it for Modern or Legacy or any other format which requires four of them, you want to make sure that you have a matching set. So expeditions are quite interesting. It's something that I wanted to talk about for a little bit of time. I went online, the cheapest, I know it says $200 here, but the cheapest copy on TCG Player, which was moderately played, was 155 I think that's where he got the number with uh, shipping. Uh, he offered shipping as well. Uh, it was a store. When a store sells for 155 on TCG Player, there's fees. There's You can assume there's shipping, tracking. You can assume that it's actually like 140 for the store. $15 of fees, which is... You know, let's say 8% of fees from PayPal and TCG player as well as, you know, shipping with tracking or, you know, some type of bubble wrap. You, you got to ship. It's a hundred for $50 card. You got to ship it correctly. You're not going to lose the card, right? Uh, that would be pretty bad. I'm shocked, if you will, pun intended, that these are the price they currently are. They were pitched as, so I buy a lot of basketball cards and there's sets that I love buying called uh, Panini Eminence and that set is a couple thousand. There's also Panini Flawless which is also a couple thousand a box and I felt like this is the premier, this is the highest end you possibly could get and it doesn't get better than this. However, I don't know like how I feel about expeditions anymore. Uh, someone leave a Leave me a comment below how you feel about them. How many did you buy? When did you buy them? Are you interested in buying more of them? At $155 with shipping, I said no to the polluted. Because this card is trending down. I I like cards that trend up slowly. That tells me like demand is increasing. I do not like cards that trend down a long time. If it's I would much rather Buy something to hold when it goes up and down, up and down. And this is not the type of thing that you would buy. It's not the type of thing that you buy for utility because you can always get, and for honestly, if you're playing at a tournament, having foil copies, expedition copies of this card is probably not as good as having the regular copies just because how tournaments are run. You know, did you, are they the only foils in your deck? Are you cheating? Are you doing a Jared? Who remembers Jared, guys? Anyways, pretty crazy stuff, and I just wanted to make a video showing like the price has just crumbled, absolutely crumbled on this one. And even at 155, I don't want it. And that's to say, and that's to say, I have at least one or two of my EDH decks. 
So I did get them around the 200, 250 mark. So anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.